Behemoth. What's up, folks? Welcome to part three of our Aquaria Layer of Behemoths limited testing meeting. I'm Lord Tupperware. I am joined in the booth with Mr. Metronome and Quarter Calls, and we are now ranking Black's cards here. We're going to look at commons and then uncommons and rares. As always, please go ahead and click that subscribe button, click that thumbs up button, and give us a comment in the comment section. All of that helps us grow the channel. Okay, moving on to ranking Black's cards. So... No, nothing is to discuss here, right? No, I this card's great. So now we're gonna have to start discussing some stuff because <laughs> I think I think Alex hates dead weight. Two to one versus Alex. Versus, <laughs> yeah. I don't hate I I don't hate dead weight as much as my co host my co host partner Abram hates dead weight, but I don't think I don't think it's the second best common uh, in black. I, on, that sounds on. absurd. Yeah, I I agree with I agree with Ben. Hashtag I'm with Ben. <laughs> so. Okay, so my issue with it is, like, it doesn't always kill the two drops even that you need to kill. And then, like, sometimes it's just, like, coil bugs or whatever. And then, I mean, it shrinks things. I, I just think it's too small ball for this format. Like, I okay, don't think... But, but it's so... When it's good, it's so good. It kills a Thundermane or it kills a Valiant Rescuer or it, is... it kills a Boot Nipper. Like, yes, there are things it doesn't kill, but there's enough things that you care about that it kills that it's a good card. It's nuts against the cycling deck. It is like the best tool, I think, against the cycling deck. I agree with that. Um, so it gets major props, major points for that. I just think against like the humans deck and the mutate deck. I guess you know what? Maybe, maybe it's still it, good against humans. It's still against yeah. It's still and good it's still humans. good against yeah. mutate. It kills essence symbiote. Yeah, like, but it also it, the things that are awkward that you wish it killed that it doesn't kill are glimmer bell, the marmoset, and snare tactician. But even like shrinking a marmoset, I'm still fine with that. I agree. Uh, all right, yeah. all right. Two, yep, two against one. I think. I think. You're, <laughs> yeah. That's the old. That's the old. I don't agree, but I don't want to argue. No, 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 no. I. Yeah, no. I, I, I'm on board. I'm on board with this. Like, I, I think so. I, I think one that isn't in this slot here. That yeah, I was gonna say. I, yeah. I would put memory leak in in there for sure. I think like personally, I've been taking leak over uh, dead weight. But I can I can get behind it. Wait, number two. I just uh, so it's really hard for me to take leak over at least these four. Oh, I'm taking leak over all three of those cards. I think I'm lower. Not on not, not not coil bug, but I think I'm lower on boot nipper than you two are. Probably. I think the card is good. I I don't think it's like I think it's definitely worse than memory leak, and I I could be. Yeah, I think it's worse than Memory Leak. I agree with that. I like Memory Leak more. All right. I don't, but I'm not going to argue because I don't understand the cycling stuff. <laughs> Can you explain to me, like, so at, at what pick are you happy with it? And are you, so are you happy with, with, like, is it ever, is it your first black card? I guess it can be because it's a colorless cycler. But, like, without any cycling payoffs, are you happy with, like, four of these in your deck? Yes, because that's the, the point. You get to play 15 lands. I, I you cut guess. out your drunky birds. Okay. Yeah, I that's, think where, I... that's where I'm at with it, too. I think Boot Nipper, you're taking over it as soon as you have an inkling that you might be in Mutate. Yes, but I agree I think, with that. I think cycling is more important to bias yourself towards early than Mutate. And I think... If you're like the fact that coil bug exists also and is a serviceable thing to mutate onto makes boot nipper a little less valuable, despite the fact that boot nipper is much better than coil bug to mutate onto. Like, if there's enough flavors of black that aren't mutate that I think that's why I'm a little lower on boot nipper than I was. Like, I've had a lot more experience with a lot more variety of black decks. Now, here's a question that I can't quite wrap my head around. Like, like I said, with, with Polywog Symbiote, when we were talking about blue, like I feel like I'm taking the mutate creatures over the mutate enablers, except for that. I just can't quite wrap my head around why I like Boot Nipper better than Cavern Whisperer. And I like, I think Cavern Whisperer is a good card. It's good. I I am, I am agree with you 100%, Ethan. Because it's like, I read Cavern Whisperer, I've seen it in play, and it's like, yeah, that's good. It's a hasty 4 horror menace creature that makes them discard a card after you mutate. Like, it's a good card, but I, mm -hmm. I agree, I can't. Take, I can't bring myself to be taking it early, so maybe that's just like a fault on my part that I just like we just need to take it earlier. So yeah. maybe maybe that yeah. So it's like like this one two three and then this is the tier like 
it does feel to me like I should be just because, you know, when you take the the good two drops that are good to mutate onto, you're not guaranteed to see the good mutate creatures. Whereas vice versa, like as I was saying on stream today, like I just even if I get some junker, like if I have, like I'm fine with playing Mysterious Egg a lot of the time, and then it's just like, look, if I have to play Serrated Scorpion, I can do it if I've got. Like I'll make up for that if I have eight mutate creatures. Yeah, no, I that's completely agree with that. Okay, so one, two, three, and then this tier in this order. Uh, or I you, feel you want strongly. Poacher. I feel strongly about Poacher and Whisper Squad in the next tier. In in this tier. In this tier, yeah, because Whisper Squad and Poacher are both like excellent, like marquee cards in the humans deck, and mm-hmm. then Squad is good in like black red, very good in black red sacrifice, and then so is Poacher. Poacher is just like a generically good black card. Like I want a Poacher in basically all of my black decks. I think I, or I'm, two. I'm with you on that for sure. Uh, can you? I assume it's just like how you get into any of these collect them all whisper squad stuff. But can you talk about like when you're moving in on, on whisper squad or trying to, to snatch those up and what the optimal number is? Yeah. So if I have like um, a sanctuary lockdown or a bastion of remembrance, like both the, the two like human uh, payoff uncommon enchantments, I will take, I, t- I took whisper squad third yesterday after going like bastion, um, good black card, whisper squad that makes sense right? because i think this card is just so so good like i think i think a lot of people are still like a little bit down on this card but if you just look at it as like a token maker like i think i think once you see it in play and see your opponent go like squad on one get another get another and they still have six cards in hand you're like oh i get it right mm-hmm. it's, it's just so good at that point especially when you have sacrifice outlets and and ways to use your additional like just raw card materials yeah. So I, I think the optimal number, I've been going back and forth between like three and four, right? Like you don't want more of those because then you start to draw multiples in your opening hand. Um, but I think like you you definitely want three. I think you can play four as well. Okay. And not to like belabor this because we're sort of, you know, I think past this, it doesn't really matter. What Where where are you guys at on the order of this pile? I like that order, but it's it's so context. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. I'm just, yeah. just wondering. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I could, I, see, I could see Bushmeat Poacher higher because it's a deck, like it's a more, it's a more of a, a linchpin to a deck. Mm-hmm. I, I sort of want to get both Bushmeat, like I, I almost think Bushmeat, Whisper Squad, and Boot Nipper should just be in the Memory League tier, and then like Cavern Whisper and Coil Bug are their own. Nah. You don't think so? Well, I, I like would... Cavern Whisperer more than that. I think I like. Oh, I think oh, yeah, that's fair. Didn't that's we? Fair. We just said we should be taking Whisperer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over. No, you're right. I, that's that's my it's my bias so against Whisperer. I, I think I think Cavern Whisperer and Bushmeat Poacher are equivalent in different decks, right? Cavern Whisperer right. is yes. you want it in Red yep. Black Menace and you want it in Mutate, and Bushmeat Poacher you want in the Grind Sacrifice decks. But they they function at a similar power level in those. Yes. Decks. What if we do this? Say so leak. So one, I like two, three, and then it's sort of just like this and these guys, and this and this. But like also this plays well with coil bug. Like I agree with that. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. How happy are you with like ending up with three bush meat poachers in black, Alex? You're... I'm not super. I want two. Um, two is like the the sweet spot. I think. I don't think I want three. Um, but but two is is often really good. I but... haven't found that you need to pick them that highly. Yeah. Yet. I agree, but at the same time, there's points where I'm like, man, like I, I hope this poacher wheels, but if it doesn't, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I have not not drafted that uh, that style of deck yet. Like, yeah, I haven't really dra- I haven't drafted black, white, or black, red yet. All right. Yeah, it's just like I think it's just like a, a very important piece of those decks. So I think it's just like a, a pretty high priority. Uh, beyond that. I think Mutual Destruction is the best next best card. Yeah, I like this card. And then it plays well with basically all these, like like the poacher, right. the squad, coil bug, like yeah, all that style. And then what? Night Squad, like Commando, Fumes, yeah. Fumes. Dead Eye. I think. Yeah, I like Dead Eye. Dead Eye is decent. I don't like Dead Eye. Oh yeah, I think I mean, it's okay. Like especially in the humans deck, like you attack with your squad, you kill yeah. the thing. Right, that, that kind of stuff. It's okay. Sense. It's like I agree. It's not a high pick or anything. 
It's good because there's decks that are going tall, and it gives you serious game against the decks that are going tall. Like, when you want to alpha into two creatures, but you can't because you're going to lose two things, but all of a sudden you get to kill one of their two good blockers, that's pretty big game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of times the mutate deck just has, like, a four toughness and a five toughness creature on the battlefield to your, like, five very small creatures, and this is really good there. And it's just, like, good in general. I think I I like it around here. I I like Blitzleech. I know Ben I doesn't. hate Blitzleech. This card is good. You don't need to pick it highly because, like, it's six mana and you don't really want more than one. But, like, this is a good card. I have found this to be very effective. I have been coming around to Blitzleech. Like, I I don't ever... Like, I, I often don't end up with it in my deck. Like, I often cut it. But then, like, when my opponents have cast it on me, I'm like, oh, that's that's pretty good. Right? So, I, I think... I don't know... If like like on power level i think it belongs in this tier but like you said i don't think you have to take it close to where you are taking like mutual destruction or night night squad commando um so i i can get behind like the the bottom of this tier i like that it's it's just tough because like the decks that want night squad commando just want as many of these as you could probably get right and then like you just don't care about this but i think there are but i think decks that like maybe don't want that that are more like not a humans deck. I think in like more of the black green black blue life, I think a blitz leech is is really good. Yeah, especially in black blue. Like I I like you know, black blue is like the flash deck and I don't think that comes together no. all that much as in in the in the sense that like you have flash payoffs or whatever, right. but like you do want to play it into the speed a lot of time in in black blue. So it's mm-hmm. it's good there. Yeah. And then oh, what's up Ben? I was going to say the only time I've been impressed with blitz leech was when my opponent had the the blue black hybrid card that made it cheaper they had a couple mm. of those and casting it for four mana was pretty impressive then, then they played a bunch of junky tutus <laughs> no they had they was real they had a blue black flash deck yeah my dream is getting slither wisp like the the blue black card work i still yeah. haven't <laughs> that, that card's sweet yeah i haven't gotten that yet and then i mean we've got so a couple like black draw spells dark um, bargains better than corpse churn Yes, but I don't care Corpse about like a Luris specific card, right? Yeah, you, it, it, Luris, and there's one other one that I wanted it really badly with. Um, I don't remember it specifically. I, I know that there's like you should be on the lookout for Corpse Turn for it's like oh I I specifically want a Corpse Turn in this deck for Luris, or there's like a few cards that make their way to your grave and you want to buy them back. So I it's not a high pick, but it has a place. Okay, uh, I think Gloom Pangolin is just trash tier yeah cyborg card serrated scorpion is kind of i mean i think all i all these cards are, are bad all four yep. of these are bad cards unlikely aid's the best of the four of them i i like unlikely aid yeah i think i think that card goes in the next tier up like i think it's a playable you think it's there yeah yeah so we're like b plus I, mean, I like unlikely aid better than corpse turn and dark bargain i think agree agree i don't think it makes it to like the next tier at all but i think i think i like as you can as you can see i have not drafted this card yet (laughs) (laughs) so i disagree but that's fine um so it's weird with black because like this is like b b plus yeah and this is like c plus no like c i think these are like these are all c pluses pluses. yeah these are c pluses too c plus plus c plus c c minus ish and then garbage yeah i think like the whisper squad pile is like high c and then the next one is like low c right yeah. it's like it's crazy how much blood like blood curl is just so much better than any of these cards like right. by a lot but like i'm not mad that black isn't good no <laughs> for sure yeah you know? <laughs> all right moving on to black's uncommons here be interesting to see i imagine we all probably have different <laughs> thoughts feelings hopes and dreams about what black is doing here um i'm gonna throw this out to ben first i i like as the best of these i like harvester bastion and heartless act harvester bastion heartless act alex where are you at um so i am on wow like so i i think i like grim dancer in the conversation there um i like the card a lot so i think do you guys want to why don't you start with harvester like i think you guys might like this card a lot more than i do but i think i might be too low on it so do you do you want to talk about that one for a second uh yeah uh i mean <laughs> do i need to i'm i feel like i'm just the one talking about mutate creatures no, I mean, no, no, I'll, no, stick, no. I'll stick up for mutate here too yeah, I think for this, sure, is, for sure. this is you know the, the obvious comparison is freaka spawn right and yeah. it's, not, it's not freaka spawn but there are board states that comes up 
where it's free to spawn and that's still really powerful i think it's a very good payoff it's splashable four six is a great body a lot of times it's best in black red i think when you're able to use your removal to keep the board clear like really it's only bad against the go white deck Mm -hmm. and it's it's Whereas some things you're not like, oh, I want to build a mutate stack. Like, this is the thing I want to build a mutate stack with. If you yeah. ever get to activate this twice, save for playing against, like, a black-white humans deck or any deck that's making tokens, which is generally, I think, a white deck or a white humans deck. Like, aside from that, you are getting real cards, and it just, like, demands to be dealt with. I just think it plays really, really well in the format. It's also huge, right? It's, it's huge. Like four, six, yeah, 4-6 is massive. Yeah, I think, you know, I think, like, I hadn't had this in my head as up there, but I think you guys are right. I think this is like, um, I think it's, I don't know if I would. Yeah, I can, I can buy it as the, as the best one. I think um, it's the best one. Yeah, that's I fair. Think, that's fair. I think, I think I'm, I'm on Bast- Bastion next. Yes, I agree. I am not, but again, have not really played with it. I think I would take Grim Dancer. I think I would take Grim Dancer over Grim it. Dancer, I think it's a knock for being black, black. Yeah. My, so my, my whole mantra. So like, so far in the format is just like take the archetype engine cards and like bastion is that and grim dancer is not and i think they're like close on power okay well then can i sell you on unbreakable bond third <laughs> so no. i think i, th- I think that just like i think it's lower in power that certainly than these but like it, i think it's lower in power than grim dancer but it's a deck it's a deck in and of itself then you just go cool i just take whatever sandworms and like, I think it's like so much more exploitable than the other decks, though. Like, I think like get, reanimating a huge thing, generally, I don't know. I, I haven't found it. I, you know, I, I don't have experience with this. I don't know. I don't want to talk too much about it. I've done it like once or twice, and it's been like okay. But I think you've had way, way more experience with this. I mean, right? it's very yeah. I, I found it yeah. very very fun. Obviously, it's disruptible. I, I'm I'm mostly memeing here. Um, <laughs> it's good. I, it's no, good. I agree. Like, I had a very good blue red spells Lutri companion deck, and I lost in the finals to Unbreakable Bond and back for more reanimating mm-hmm. Titan Oth Rex. I mean, it's real. It's, I mean, it's real. a real deck, and like yeah, it is real. You know, sure, there's you can just be like yeah, you just blood curdle it or you pacify it, and it's easy. But like blue red has a tough time dealing with that for sure. Yeah, for sure. I, I like Heartless Act over it. I, I like Bond over Grim Dancer myself. Oh wow, yeah. I mean. Hmm. I, I, I like Grim Dancer above Bond, but Bond is like Bond can be like for me it would be like right below. I, I like there. I think can I put the these in here. the three? Th- like yeah, I think fine. I yeah. have this ahead. Yep. Like yep. I I think my for my money Heartless Act is the worst of these three. Um, this card I think is I think the comparison to Cast Down and Dominaria is very apt with this mm-hmm. card. Like I, I found it to be better than that. Like a little bit better. Like I definitely didn't want like three Cast Downs in my deck, and I, I'm fine with I think three Heartless Acts. But mm-hmm. I, I agree it has that problem. Yeah. Okay. And then what's what's next? I mean, these two the, the, and then these three are not good. Yeah. Oh, I think call is very good. Um like call it call is a humans card. Okay. So where do you have that in this? I put it in like the Mamba tier, yeah. Okay. And how are you using call in humans? Uh, you get like it's it's again it's kind of like whisper like well it's good with whisper squad first of all but it's also like the whisper squad kind of thing where or or like humans or black red which like have some crossover where it's like you just want more materials and this getting back two cards is really good and so you're playing it in decks with like cats and things like that yeah too. cats so cats that you're, you're hoping squads. to get you're hoping to get back two bodies you are but even if you don't it's like a a, a decent fallback of just like okay now my creature, small creature comes back with that like with some abilities you know Right, I've, I've used it to give things death touch for Porky Parrot. <laughs> that's yeah, been, all, that's yeah, been my yeah, own that's, experience that's, good, so right? that's pretty sweet, yeah. Where, where are we at on, like, Easy Prey versus Dead Weight? I like Dead Weight dead better. Weight. Yeah, yeah, I think too. so. I, th- I, I, f- I feel like this is below these three. So I've been kind of impressed with Easy Prey. Um, I think that, like, it's... I, I do agree it's lower, but I, I don't think it's, like, too much worse. Like, I don't want to undersell this card too much i think i think it's a, like a fine card I, I it's right below dead weight for me too um yeah. i think that's like a good line to make there the easy prey line so then we've got blood curdle i'm taking think, heart harvester over I, it i think that's where it goes yeah for yeah me. i think so too. and you're taking are you taking bastion over it because i don't I think am, i yeah. am okay all right so take bastion so then it's there and then we've got like this this 
huge gap. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, he, he I mean, just just for like the, for the purposes, because then we're like putting like dead weight and then our um, like memory leak pile. I think that's, yeah. you know, there's many piles, I think, that are being taken over the easy prey life, like even what I'm taking. I probably draw the line like here. I would, yeah, I would take Whisper Squad and so this probably is Coil Bug and new Nipper. Yeah, over this pile. Mm -hmm. or not even that this is a pile. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just, just for some context. All right. Well, we made a slight change here off camera. Ben wanted uh, Chittering Harvester and Bastion of Remembrance in the same pile, so here we are. So Ben, Blood Blood Curdle just below those two. That wasn't um, off camera. That was comedic gold. You got to leave that. <laughs> yeah. in. That's 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 going to be a, an outtake. All right. So then we got we got these these four rares here. Dirge Bat is just over here. Like yeah, it's n oh, nuts off, off the charts. Off the yeah. charts. Okay, where are you at on Mythos versus Blood Curdle? That's a great question. Um, uh, pack one, probably. pick one. I'm taking Mythos. Yeah, probably Mythos. I it's close that, though, right? Yeah, it is close. It is close. Why is it, it close? Because the menace counter. The menace counter matters. The, yeah. The, the fact that this is a one mana cheaper matters more than the menace counter and the uh, the upside of potentially being able to snag like an enchantment or something. That's I coming think... up pretty rarely. I blew up a Mystic Subtool today, baby. I think the menace counter is pretty relevant. Like I, I think as the format goes on, I think the black red deck is going to become more of a thing. Like people are going to understand how to draft that better and the menace counter definitely matters there and just in any like somewhat assertive deck if you're on the play the menace counter is gigantic right just like get rid of the three drop now they can never block your three yeah. drop that's i fair. think the my my feeling right now is that the black red deck is the best deck that's not one of the macro archetypes i think yes 100 I, I agree with that it, ben. okay that's that's i can get down with that where where does extinction event go for you guys i think it's a it's above these for me it's above. I think. I think this card's and very, the, very good. So is it, it's, yeah. it's here, right? It's like, yeah. Like this yeah. is an A. This is an A minus or whatever. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm on kind of nightmare over those other two cards as well. Yeah. Me too. I think. I think nightmare is really good in this tier. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Okay. I haven't played with this card yet. That's just. It is just huge. Sometimes you just on the play. Like on, sometimes you're on the play. Your opponent goes no two drop. You play this. Yeah. Right. And it's just like wow. Okay. <laughs> even even when they do have a two drop, like they can't block this thing for a while. Mm hmm. And yeah, then you've got right. removal to kill the thing that has the death touch counter. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's just great. Right. Maybe even a dead weight. Maybe even a dead weight. Maybe even a dead weight. Now that card sucks. <laughs> All right, that's black.